Hey, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about exploitation and for more context, we're basically going to talk about how celebrities and major brands just keep exploiting artists over and over again. So Billie Eilish, who everybody and their mother completely loves and adores, got up one morning and woke up probably on the wrong side of the bed and decided to partner up with Adobe to empower artists and supposedly give back to the community of loyal fans who have shown how much they love her with countless fan art and absolutely amazing drawings half of which he probably will never end up seeing by making a contest where the winner gets a chance to have your unique art featured on a piece of official merch on billy's tour and these are literally her own words from her official twitter account see it's verified so that means that's the real billy and not the kid because that's a dead outlaw but i guess billie eilish might just be on her own way to becoming an outlaw herself because who else finds comfort in exploiting unsuspecting people hi guys so as you know i am going on tour this year and designing merch right now and i know how creative all of you guys are so i wanted to see if you guys would want to be involved I am going to pick out my favorite piece of fan art to be on one piece of official merch on my tour. I can't wait to see what you guys all come up with and I know that it's going to be amazing. So please go to billyxadobe.com to get more info and that's all and I love you and I can't wait. Wow. Okay, so obviously there's a lot to unpack here, but before we even go too far, this competition is actually sponsored by Adobe. And from the looks of it, this looks like a legit partnership between Billie Eilish and Adobe. And if you go to their website, they still have promotional videos and images for the competition. But apparently it ended some weeks ago and Billie Eilish is choosing the winner. Now, first off, I don't know about you, but I pay monthly just to use Adobe Premiere Pro on my computer. And for artists who use Photoshop legitimately for their work, you're probably paying for that too. And every other program in the creative suite if you want to gain access to all the features in any of the Adobe programs in that suite. So what I don't understand is, if I have to pay to use Adobe programs, why is Adobe making a competition which has no compensation for the same artists that pay monthly to use their programs? This is completely ridiculous, especially for a big brand like Adobe, to just outrightly support exploiting artists who spend so much time money and effort to learn how to make good quality art and some lucky artists even go to art school and spend thousands of dollars and then end up graduating and owing the government and now they have to deal with things like this but here we have adobe totally having zero regard for artists and just asking for art and not thinking of paying for it at all it seems most brands decide to create these splendid ideas for art competitions and then use them as bait to make people who actually support the brand or celebrities send free work which later gets used one way or another but then these so-called brands and celebrities pay for them with exposure and sometimes they just say hey thank you for your work we totally love it and we appreciate the time and effort you spent making this but sadly we can't really afford to pay you besides art is a gift and it should be used for the benefit of all mankind don't you think so now don't get me wrong, there are actual decent art competitions that pay artists for their work or at least find a way of compensating them with either a drawing tablet or any other device that could be used to make art and then the artist can of course just do whatever they want to do with it. Heck, they can even go sell it and keep the change you filthy animal. But making artists make free art for you that you intend to use on merch which obviously you're going to make money off from is just pushing the limit to be honest. The least you can do if you really want to support the art community or artists is to choose a number of artists or have your team choose a number of artists since I clearly know you <laughs> are not 
obviously going to be the one who will go around looking for all the artists by yourself so at least just have your team choose a number of artists and have them create official work for your brand of your merch or whatever it is you want to do and just pay them up front and if you're even feeling really good you can have them sign contracts where they earn royalties or a percentage after every sale you make at least that way it becomes beneficial to both you and the artist in the long run but i guess billy eilish just feels differently about the artists that support her now just like any typical controversial topic on twitter a lot of people had different opinions and most of them revolved around boycotting billy eilish and adobe and basically just calling them out for scamming artists and exploiting their fans who pay monthly to use adobe products and i found a video which literally almost sums up my entire reaction for this situation this is spec work. Hi, I'm a professional artist. I make my entire salary every year from making art for other people. So please trust me when I say that art contests are exploitative and dangerous and bad for any working artist. Let me explain. By the time a company or a client comes to me and they're like, hey, we have this project and we want you to work on it. Are you available? They have already spent an ass ton of money. How is this possible? Well, a company or a client has to pay for the recruitment process. They pay people or they themselves go and scout to find artists to work on their project. They ask them if they're interested, if they're available, and if their rates match up. So one, the recruitment process costs a lot of money. Two, artists create first passes. Now this totally makes sense. You see, aside from just having base rates for commissions, artists also get to set hourly rates, especially when working on bigger projects. So the more hours you spend in a day working on an image, the more money you make basically. Well, kinda. So whenever your art director has you making early drafts and sketches and then has you making reverts and changes and doing corrections and all that, it basically means they're going to have to pay you for all the extra hours or days that you're going to spend making those corrections. So when a client comes to me and they want me to create a logo or an illustration or a merch design, I will go through a first pass process where I create up to hundreds of options and iterations exploring style, color, composition, approach, all of this stuff to give the company as many options as I can for their project. And even bad iterations are just as important as the good iterations in the first pass because it shows the company what doesn't work and what they don't want. And this process costs a lot of money. Labor costs money. This is also true because most studios always pay artists for tests. And these are just basically first passes to see if the artist can fit the style of the project or just to see what the artist take on their IP is and to see if the artist can bring a different look or unique concept to the IP. So during an art contest, a company or a musician or whatever is getting all of these free options and they're also having artists come to them, which obviously means that they don't have to pay for recruitment. But Megan, working with Billie Eilish and Adobe is gonna give you so much exposure. No, it won't. Let me explain. Name one artist off of the top of your head that you know specifically, that you discovered specifically from winning an art contest. Hmm. Oh. I actually don't know any artists that won a competition from the top of my head. Exactly. A lot of the times during these art contests, in the rules and terms and conditions and all that, they say that anything you submit, even if you don't win, the company and client will own. They have every right at that point to take it and print it on merchandise without paying you. Even if you don't win, they have every right, if they own the artwork that you're submitting to them in the terms of service and all that shit, to print it and make money off of you because they own it. <laughs> This is a really good video by Megan just breaking down the entire situation and just how spec work runs in general. And for those of you who aren't following Megan or don't know about her work or haven't seen her work before, she's actually an amazing artist and I've been following her work on Instagram since I stumbled on it months ago and I really just love her work. So go take a look at her work on Instagram or Twitter and also follow her while you're doing that. And also because she's just spitting straight fire too.
This comment is very snarky and cute. Ouch, you hurt my feelings. Okay, now that I got your attention, let's look at the rules, the official rules for this Billie Eilish Adobe Max contest. As you can see, if you apply for this contest, Billie Eilish and Adobe Max will literally have in perpetuity, which means forever, the rights to your artwork. It says each entrant hereby grants sponsor Billie Eilish and their affiliated companies and designed agents a non-exclusive, transferable, perpetual, irrevocable, royalty-free, unconditional, fully paid license <laughs> and right to post and make have made, use, copy, reproduce, modify, blah, 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 blah. This says that if you enter the contest, especially if you don't win, they literally own your artwork and can make money off of it. This is super fucked up. Um, <sighs> Billie Eilish, I like you and everything. Adobe, you're there, but this sucks. Please don't do this. Anytime competitions like this are created, they usually put it somewhere within the terms of service that any and all art that is created for the competition automatically just belongs to the company after the competition and the artist have just forfeited all the rights to their work. So the company can just, if they feel like it, use all the images at once or use them later on down the line if they feel like in any of their upcoming competitions or projects or whatever and sometimes they even just make prints of it or art books or magazines with people's work that they just claimed out of the blues it just seems like everyone who works for these kind of companies are related to Eminem in some way because everything they do is just shady and the thing is they don't even care and they just keep doing it all the time and another important side note I almost forgot thank you brain for not letting me down as usual apparently all the other artists that were or would have been hired to work on this campaign for Adobe would definitely have been paid to create marketing material or just promotional images or whatever and before anyone goes hey mohammed how do you know that vital information one artist who was reached out to by adobe posted his response on twitter i was approached by an agency to work on paid promotional assets for the billy x adobe campaign this was my response hopefully this can help prevent these kind of malicious spec work contests from happening in the future oh i guess he wasn't approached directly by adobe so it was probably an agency that's handling the work for adobe which is usually how agencies work and i like how he just called it malicious spec work so we can all just understand it's a ploy to manipulate and use artists unlike an actual campaign that hires and pays artists for their work thanks for reaching back out i did some more thinking about the project after you first approached me and if i'm being honest i don't really want to be part of a campaign that is centered around adobe and spec work I know I will be getting paid and all, but it encourages a lot of young designers to create work for free in this contest system that I think can be predatory. I hope you can understand and as stated before, I would love to work with you all on future projects that better fit my views and schedule. Thanks, Jesse. He actually put that agency in their place. Imagine the person reading this email, seeing this and knowing he is right. It is predatory behavior, but still went ahead to send other artists a contract to participate in the project and prey on young artists. The post was well received and appreciated by other artists on Twitter and someone even asked him if the agency responded to which he replied nope they didn't which was totally expected of them i mean obviously for people who were already prepared to not pay artists for any of the work they create in a competition you just gave them a genuine reason not to even bother paying you as well i mean obviously they're not even going to hire you in the first place and they just took it with open arms well everyone on twitter is literally just going insane right now and the comments are just wild because just like me most people can't believe adobe will do something like this especially to the same people that are part of the reason why your company is where it is right now i don't understand anyone defending companies that do this she's trying to warn and help the individual some people say it's not about 
about the money but exposure but if the company takes your work and never credits you how are you getting exposure i feel like for competitions like this it's never even about the exposure at all it's more or less about the price tags that come with competitions like this if you win i mean exposure can only take you so far but two thousand dollars can pay your rent i don't see anyone paying their landlord with exposure i learned about that pretty young Years ago, my friend did art contests on DeviantArt to accrue free fan art without commissioning people. Never picked a winner or paid out a prize. Waited till people forgot or made a new account. Rinse and repeat. People are scummy. I don't want to call out your friend or call them names, but um... Yikes. The sheer audacity of musicians making this type of play like my concert tickets are worth hundreds of dollars but your creative craft isn't worth anything like pardon it's like they literally don't rate artists at all and just somehow forget drawing in itself is an art form just like music so if they place value and worth on their concerts they should literally place the same value and worth on the artists they want to hire to make work for their concerts and merch and every other thing they intend to use as promotional material and not try to guide behind curtains begging for free work ironically i do know one artist from a competition with a music artist but the point still stands the competitions are smoke to give labels free labor and massive publicity i mean it seems like the only people that are actually going to benefit from any of this is the celebrities themselves and whoever is partnering up with the celebrities because yes artists are going to just create a lot of hype for your campaign or whatever it is you're doing and then you're going to obviously give them a hashtag to promote so it's just free exposure for you and your brand as you can see no one on twitter is having it at all and i myself i'm just looking at billy eilish like and i'm just low-key disgusted with adobe for even partnering and promoting something like this i mean i pay to use adobe every month to edit these videos you're watching and i know other artists who made drawings for the competitions obviously might be paying adobe too so for them to just create a campaign like this and promote it and actually go through with it it's just doesn't say well about them at all i guess we'll just have to wait till billy eilish finishes choosing who the winner is and then we'll see what they intend to do after all this ruckus on twitter maybe they might even think about their decision and end up giving the winners some money or something at least anyway that's it for the video if you enjoyed the video please leave the video a like subscribe to my channel if you're new here and follow me on twitter and instagram at mohammed agbadi and i guess that's it i'll see you pretty penguins in the next video peace